What's good YouTube? It's your boy Leo coming to you guys with yet another video. So I'm coming to you guys today with the fantasy booking. Um this one um is one I've been thinking about um as of recently and I've been trying to get my thoughts together on how I think this is going to start and how I think it, it should culminate on the grand scheme of things and that is regarding the judgment day. Um but we are going to see a new member being introduced and I do think that is going to be Liv Morgan joining the Judgment Day and ultimately kicking out Rhea Ripley and her being the new leader of the Judgment Day. So how do I think this is going to play? This is going to start and how I think it's going to uh, end. So we're going to start at WrestleMania 40. We know we're going to get Becky Lynch going up against Rhea Ripley for the Women's World Championship and We've seen Liv Morgan be heavily involved in this build-up between the two. It seems like she's almost been more like a side character in this feud in the grand scheme of things, if you want to be honest about it. Now, since she's came back, let's be honest, since she's came back, she has definitely been leaning more towards going in a heel, as a heel down the line and I do think that it's going to come sooner rather than later now we're going to see Becky and Rhea go at it now we know this may not have the best build-up but I do think the match is definitely going to be good this just give me flashbacks to what happened last year we seen Charlotte and and Rhea go at it they didn't have the best build-up but when WrestleMania was all said and done they had one of the best matches on WrestleMania weekend as a whole and I don't think I, I think this could be the same thing could be said for Becky and Rhea Ripley this year. Now, how do I think this is going to play out? You could honestly, you could go different ways with it. You can have Becky lose clean because I think she doesn't mind putting Rhea Ripley over. But I think for the story that I'm going to be telling, we're going to have some different flashbacks and different tie-ins um, between Liv Morgan and the Judgment Day or, and stuff like that. So, Flashback to WrestleMania 38. We seen Edge versus AJ, and and we started to see some teases as far as who could possibly be a part of the Judgment Day and whatnot. Now we remember that um, Damon Priest was the first member to be recruited. He he came out there and he was at ringside. He kind of helped um, a uh, Edge win the match, and I see the same thing kind of being. Um, replicated here um and stuff like that where Liv Morgan she's not on the card and it, it kind of begs the question what is there to do because honestly I don't know what you do with her it it is it sucks that I don't see anything for her but at the same time I it I feel like the way they've been positioning her I feel like she's gonna do something I don't know if it's gonna be in ring capacity but I feel like it's going to be something to further a storyline down the line between her and whoever it's going to be now she's definitely been heavily involved with Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch and Nia Jax she's been heavily involved with all three of those women in this lead up to Wrestlemania that is what I think is going to happen so we're going to have this back and forth match between Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley and like I said flashback to Wrestlemania 38 um, Damien Priest helped Edge. I think Liv Morgan, she's going to come down there. And the question that's going to be on fans' minds is like, what is she doing here? Like, what is she going to do? Like, like one thing with Liv Morgan, sometimes she can be unpredictable. You don't know what she's going to do next. And I think that's what's going to happen here. I do think she's going to come down to ringside. And it's going to be a situation where the fans don't know what she's going to do. Is she going to side with Becky Lynch and help her win the championship or not? And after the match goes on for a little bit, the referee's knocked down. She blindsides Becky Lynch and uh, helps Rhea Ripley retain at Mania. Now this is further, further pushes a storyline leading up. Because I do think WWE is going to play long-term storytelling with Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. That's how I see it's going to happen. One thing WWE has been doing a lot of, they've been showing you teases of things that's going to happen at some point in the down the line. But what they do is they go, they do the long-term storytelling route. And I do think this is what's going to happen. They're going to go the long-term storytelling route with Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. Um, So we see 
Liv Morgan get in the ring and she shakes Rhea Ripley's hand and it and it comes off as like wow Liv Morgan has joined the Judgment Day and the whole question I think the whole t she's going to be the talk of the wrestling world I think around WrestleMania weekend and going into the Raw after Mania because I me mean, personally if I'm booking these matches I do think WrestleMania for night two is going to have Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. I do think that match is going to have night two somewhere on that card compared to a night one. So I do think that is going to happen. And the, and the whole talking point going into, you know, Raw after Mania is why did she do it? Why did she help? Rhea Ripley retain the championship after everything that Rhea Ripley has put her through. And we, we have a promo segment. She comes out with the Judgment Day. And she has a, a promo. And she says, I'm tired of sitting in the background. I'm tired of being just a nobody. To, I'm tired of being everybody's joke. I'm, I'm here to be the best version of myself that I can be. And, and it comes off as a situation for her. It's like, if you can't beat them, join them. Now, it's like, okay, so a lot of people are probably wondering, why would Liv Morgan join the Judgment Day? Well, she does have some tie-ins here. She we Like, if we're going to start this feud, what better way to kind of kickstart that feud where you look at, what she said a couple of weeks ago when Liv Morgan lost to Becky Lynch. She told Rhea Ripley started to come down there and she was about to head into the ring to face off against Becky Lynch and, and whatnot. But Liv Morgan was right there and they crossed paths and they looked at each other. And Rhea, and Liv Morgan told Rhea Ripley, I'm going to take everything you love away from you. And I do think that's going to come into play. You don't just say that if it's not going to lead into something. Now, could it mean nothing? Absolutely. But I think when you say something like that and the tone that she did, it's going to lead to something. Now, what is it that Liv Morgan wants? She wants that Women's World Championship. She wants to take everything that she loves. Now, what does Rhea Ripley love besides that Women's World Championship? She loves the Judgment Day. She loves being with those guys, right? And she's built a connection. She's built a bond with these guys over the years. So, um, she we start to see a little bit of seeds planted, right? Um, between Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley specifically, because now Liv Morgan, now she's being in the Judgment Day, she's starting to be a little bit buddy buddy or lovey dubby with Dominic Mysterio, and Dominic Mysterio, he's he's not taken back by, it. he's actually going along with it. And the Judgment Day of Finn Balor, Damien Priest, and JD, they're they're there too, and they're not saying anything. And so we're already starting to see seeds being planted for something that's going to happen in the future, right? And we we see, you know, Rhea Ripley kind of be taken aback by this too, because it's like, what's going on? She she starts to feel as if she's going she's getting replaced. And she, she confronts them about it, and, you know, they tell her, and Liv Morgan pretty much steps up, and she says, no, you're not being replaced, it's nothing like that, you know, I'm just having a good time and all that. And, you know, she, she doesn't say anything, she, she just, you know, she just lets it slide and whatnot. But, where it starts to take a turn, I think, is we're here. So, at this point, we see the draft is about to come up, right? And we see... It's a possibility that all of these people could go get split up in the draft. They could all stand together. But we're going to see something shocking, right? I do think we're going to see Rhea Ripley get kicked out. Because if you think about it, right? Rhea Ripley is one of the most over right now. She gets the most cheers wherever she goes. Like, literally. Literally, she broke the internet this past weekend just by doing a stink face to Nia Jax at a, at a house show. So, she's starting to get more and more over as the weeks progress. And it's only a matter of time before they have to pull the trigger and have her, you know, either go face or have to, and, and stuff like that. So, if she's going to be a, a tweener or go a, be like a face, she's going to have to leave the Judgment Day. Because if you think about it, the whole concept of the Judgment Day should be a heel faction. I don't see them being a face faction. I don't. I don't, I can't, 
I cannot see them being a face faction. I'm sorry. I don't. But what do I think is going to happen is we're approaching the draft. Before we approach the draft, we're starting to see we're going to get a continuation of Liv Morty and Becky because I do think that feud is going to continue. And at Backlash, we're going to see Liv Morty versus Becky once again. And with the help of the Judgment Day, Liv finally gets that win over Becky Lynch. But she gets the win in the sense of the Judgment Day is by her side and they helped her. They backed her up. So now, it seems like we're starting to see a little bit of this as well. We're seeing the Judgment kind of come to the aid of Liv Morgan more than they are for Ray Ripley. And that's starting to cause a little bit of dissent and a little bit of problems. And, you know, and we see, you know, kind of where it looks like Rhea Ripley is about to be on a breaking point where she's getting frustrated, but she, she, but, but it's always something where she tries to calm, calm down, calm down, and calm down to where she doesn't get to that point. And when we get to the breaking point is little, no pun intended to the pay-per-view, but, um, we get to the point where the dra the draft is, a, is happening and everything like that. Right. And what happens, you know, we, 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 we hear that Rhea Ripley, is being traded to SmackDown and everyone else of the Judgment Day. That means Liv Morgan, Finn Balor, Damian Priest, JD McDonough, and Dominic are all going to remain on Monday Night Raw. And later in the show, we have all of them, including Rhea Ripley, you know, there to address the elephant in the room, address her being traded to SmackDown and she talks about and Rhea Ripley's talking about you know I'm going to be the most dominant women's champion like I've been on Raw the Judgment Day is going to be even stronger because now we're running both brands and you know Liv Morgan she you know she cuts in and she says I I'm very thankful for this moment I'm very um proud of what you're about to do and uh, a journey that you're about to embark on on SmackDown and she says I couldn't have done it without you. And she says, and it comes off as like she's kind of being more heelish. It's like she's being more methodical, right? She's being more methodical. And she says, it's time. And she says, I think it's time for us to do what we what we've been wanting to do for a long time. And it looks like they're about to celebrate and have their final goodbye. But nope. Liv Morgan clocks her. And she starts to beat the crap out of Rhea Ripley. In the same what fashion that she did to Liv Morgan. Putting her on the shelf. And the Judgment Day are smiling. And, she, and then they... And they all leave while Rhea Ripley is is pretty much face down on the on the mat. The crowd booing, the crowd emotional, and we we try they try to catch up with Liv Morgan the rest of Judgment Day tonight. And Liv Morgan, you know, she says she doesn't say much. She just says she deserved this. And that was it. And now it seems like now we see those two be split for the time being. But now we see Liv Morgan sort of take over the leadership role of the Judgment Day. Similar to how, you know, Rhea Ripley kind of was. But now we're starting to see a little bit more. We see Liv Morgan healing it up. Being more e egotistical. She's showing a little bit more of her dark side. And... She's starting to become um, everything. She's she's starting to become very dominant, you know. And it's and, and and usually sometimes it's hard to take, you know, someone of her size, you know, serious as being a dominant character. But for her, she's making it work only because she has the Judgment Day by her side, and you know, she comes out. They have their promo next week where all of the members of the Judgment Day and uh, come out. After the vicious attack, and they try to, you know, um, explain what was going on, and she she says, you know, Liv Morgan, she has a promo. She says she deserved this. She took everything from me, and it was only fitting to take 
everything away from her. Now, I know a lot of people was she she says, I know a lot of people would be thinking, yeah, I want that women's world championship, and that is true. But she she comes off as more as of a heel as she doesn't want she wants to take everything piece by piece until there's nothing left of Rhea Ripley. And that's what she her, her mission is. She wants to take everything she cares and loves about from her. And she says, you know, I've been talking to the Judgment Day for a while. I've been saying this for a while. I've been telling them we need to, to get her out of here because, let's be honest, without her, we can be so much better without her. Yes, she may have been the most over in the, in the, in the faction, but she wasn't the most important one. She wasn't the one that started it. And she talks, she goes in, she says how Damien Priest is the most loyal out of everybody to the Judgment Day. She she goes on, her, she talks about how Finn Balor is one of the most decorated champions in the Judgment Day. She talks about how JD is going to be the up and coming um, person to someday lead the Judgment Day. She talks about how Dominic is one of the brightest young stars in the company. And she 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 gloats about it. And she says, with with me by their side, we are going to go to heights like never before. We're going to go back to being the most dominant faction in WWE history. We're going to make statements. And if she says, if anybody doesn't like that, well, you better stay out the way. Because we are going about to wreak havoc on everybody. Any and everybody that gets in our way, we're going to wreak havoc. We're going to gladly put them where they belong. And she, they leave. And, you know, now we're seeing the new Judgment Day take form. Now consisting of, of the Judgment Day's new leader, Liv Morgan, Finn Balor, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, and JD McDonough. And on the side of that, we also are getting that little buddy buddy romance between Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio as well. Similar to kind of how you know Rhea Ripley and Dominic would be. Now it it, it comes in. I know a lot of people who are gonna come across this video, they're gonna probably be like, Well, what's the tie-ins of her joining? Well, here's some different things. She said a couple of weeks ago she's gonna take everything she cares about and loves about. So you have that tie in there. And you don't just say that if nothing's going to happen. Like I said earlier. Another one. Go back to 2022. Literally after she won the championship against Knight or Ronda Rousey. And then she kind of had that wonky finish at SummerSlam. People start to turn on her, right? And Rhea Ripley went to bat for her. And she says, forget what everybody thinks. There's always a spot for you in Judgment Day whenever you want it. And I do think that's going to come into play. But only it's going to come into a to play in a sense of being a haunting reason, a haunting nightmare for, for Rhea Ripley now. And on top of that, we're, we have tie-ins between her and Dom. Yes, this, this might sound very funny, but they both went to jail. They both had that lock-up bond, so to speak. So you think out of the bat, they probably could get along. Her and Finn Balor also have a, a, a little bit of a pass as well. A little tie in because if you go back to 2022, it was her, it was her, Finn Balor, and AJ versus Edge, Demon Priest, and Rhea Ripley when the Judgment Day started to take form and they had that match at Hell in the Cell that year. So you have that tie in there. And then Damien Priest, Damien Priest also has a tie in as well because if you go back, to, I think it was a couple of years ago, I think when Judgment Day, when he first started um, being part of the Judgment Day, and I think this is right around the time. Um, before Rhea Ripley uh, joined the faction. And he was asked if any woman were to join the faction, who would it be? Now, he did say Rhea Ripley, right? But he said if anybody else outside of Ripley joined the Judgment Day, he would want it to be Liv Morgan. So all of those different times that I just gave you all coming back full circle, right? And this is starting to become part of the motivation for um, the Judgment Day and Liv Morgan being part of the faction. Now, we're seeing... Um, a little bit of what's going to happen. We're seeing, so Liv Morgan's going to go on a down run. She's picking up wins of people on the roster against uh, Nikki Cross. She's getting wins over, you know, some of the lower card talent, and upper card talent and whatnot. And she's, she's pretty much being very, very dominant. And we're, we're getting a build up to Survivor Series with them turning heel on uh, Rhea Ripley. 
this is going to plant the seeds for Survivor Series and next year's WrestleMania. So, it's, it's, we're going to get their first match kind of post since the whole split. And we're, we're starting to see in the lead up to Survivor Series, you know, Le Morgan starting to attack Rhea Ripley again and whatnot. And it leads to a War Games match where it's Team Liv Morgan or as a Team Liv Morgan versus Team Rhea Ripley. And who does pretty much um, Liv... Well, Liv Morgan, she's going to have the Judgment Day, right? We're going to have a mixed uh, war games, right? We're going to see Liv Morgan, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, JD McDonough, all the members of the Judgment Day, versus Rhea Ripley, Rey Mysterio. We're going to go with Rick. Well, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. We're going to have Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. We're going to have all those guys in the mix. And and also, I do think in the lead up, we're going to get them awarded. I was thinking we could do a women's or we could do a men's. But I think it will be more interesting in the sense of Rhea Ripley is going to want her revenge. Because she's given everything to the Judgment Day. To only see the people that she cared about the most turn her back on a line uh, with Liv Morgan. Um, and stuff like that. So you can have that story being built up into Survivor Series. And Team Ray Ripley does pick up the win. Um, with her pinning Liv Morgan. And this this starts a rage in Liv Morgan like never before. She go, she turns up the, the meter to 11. And she goes on a rampage. Her and Judgment Day go on a rampage. And this leads into the Royal Rumble. At this point, we are seeing things start to be set up. And with Liv Morgan coming short in this past year's Royal Rumble and last year's Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber, I think next year, the new, the Royal, the Women's Royal Rumble winner, the 2025 Women's Royal Rumble winner, Liv Morgan wins the match and she wastes no time. She says, I'm not waiting until tomorrow night. I'm calling, I'm challenging you, Rhea Ripley, for that Women's World Championship at WrestleMania 41 in Minnesota. And off the bat, this feud continues. It picks up once again. And we're, we're starting to get to the ending stages of this feud. Because at this point, the feud is three years in the making. And what happens is this feud gets so intense. It gets so intense, you guys. It gets so intense back and forth. Showing up, invading each other's shows. Having parking lot brawls. And they they have these... You have a situation where, you know, Liv Morgan hacks... Gets hacked into. And she hacks into, like, the bump. And, you know, berates Rhea Ripley uh, while she's having an interview or something. And... Where she has a meet and greet. Rhea Ripley's having a meet and greet. Liv Morgan comes in. Beats the crap out of her. They're having a back and forth. They just can't keep these two apart. Like they're just destined to fight forever. And they ha it gets to the point where security can't keep them back from each other. The, the roster can't keep them back from each other. It gets so intense that it comes to this. And we have those two have a contract signing. And what happens... He, um. The general manager, Adam Pierce, because at the, well, it's gonna be Nick all, all this. Nick all this says enough is enough. Both GMs are out there, plus the roster members surrounding the ring, and and they t and they tell these two, we, this has gone on for far enough. This has got to stop. With your past history with each other, this stipulation is called to end this once and for all. The judgment day is on the outside too. And, and Liv Morgan's corner. And they make the announcement. This is match is going to be for the Women's World Championship. And what happens? They they make the, they break the news. That this match will be a Hell in a Cell match. 
on WrestleMania. The first ever women's Hell in a Cell match to take place at a WrestleMania. These two are getting that stipulation. If you think about their past, I do think their feud should culminate in a Hell in a Cell match, in my personal opinion. But comment down below, let me know how you guys feel about that. And then we get to Hell in a Cell, we get to WrestleMania, these two have a all-out, back-and-forth, all-out car wreck. It was a brutal battle. At this point, we're back at the TV-14, and we're starting to see a little, these two are bleeding. We, both of these women have given everything, they're bloodied up. And what happens, we see a wild, crazy spot that we never see what thought we would see. Rhea, no, Liv Morgan, well, Rhea really tries to go for a Riptide, right? She goes for, try to go for the Riptide on top of the cell. They're both fighting on top of the cell. And Liv Morgan reverses it. And she, she, she blinds Rhea Ripley. And she kicks Rhea Ripley off the top of the cell into the tables down below. And she... She makes the slow climb down, pulling Rhea Ripley into the ring, lining her up with an oblivion. But she stops there. She doesn't stop there. She goes for a submission. She goes for the Texas Cloverleaf, allowing Rhea Ripley, she doesn't tap. She passes out from all the pain that she has endured. And we have the era of Rhea Ripley is no more. Liv Morgan is now the new women's world champion. And now the new Judgment Day has Rhea Ripley no more. Liv Morgan's the new leader. And now her story has finally finished and she is the new women's world champion. But comment down below. Let me know. How do you guys feel about this fantasy booking idea? How would you guys feel about Liv Morgan possibly joining Judgment Day and kicking out Rhea Ripley? Um, let me know your fantasy bookings. I would love to see how you guys can fantasy book this. If, if you guys can fantasy book this better than me, I, I would like to see uh, what you put. Put your creativeness in the comment section down below. And you try fantasy book Liv Morgan joining Judgment Day. And ultimately her winning the Women's World Championship. And everything like that. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But we're on the road to 200 subscribers. Make sure you super kick that like button. Superman punch that post notification bell. And spear that subscribe button. We're on the road to 200. But the goal is 10k. Once we hit 10k we'll be doing a giveaway. We're one of you lucky fans. We'll have the opportunity to win a WWE Championship. Um, belt from WB Shop. So if you guys want to op have the opportunity to, to do to win that, go subscribe to my channel. Let's get me to 10k. Let's make it happen. And yeah, but I'm recording this on the, the same day as Raw, so we, I'm very looking forward to see how uh what that how this feud possibly continues and everything like that. But um, like I said, I want to hear what you guys have to say. I appreciate everybody that tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video.